Hey guys, a comment I get quite frequently, hundreds of times, uh, is people saying, man, I love that Zygu G90, and because of you, Walt, I went out and bought one. Well, that's great. I'm not a salesman, and I have never gotten a dime from Radiotity or Zygu or anybody else. I just love the radio. I really do. And another comment I get is people want to know how to use it. Uh, if some of the newer hams are like, hey, I went out and bought this thing. Now I need some help. I don't know how to get up and running with the Zygu G90. Well, if you're an older ham and you're thinking about using, uh, getting the radio, this, might, this video might be for you. You'll get to see me go through some of the uh, basic, very basic features of the radio. If you're new, I'm just going to show you what it's going to take to get up and running. This isn't going to be an in-depth button by button, although we're going to go through quite a few buttons. It's not going to be that video, though. It's just going to be enough, enough to get you started and really start enjoying the radio and having a good time. A couple things I get asked a lot is powering. Uh, one of the things, I've, I've had this battery here for couple years. I'll put a link to it. This is a, just a 12 volt, six amp hour battery. The cool thing about it, when I bought it on uh, Amazon, it came with its own charger. That's another thing when you're buying a LifePo4 batteries, you also got to buy a charger. Hey, it came with the charger and that was nice. So six amp hour, that thing will last you all day. I mean, all day and maybe part of the next day because the draw on this thing just isn't that bad. For, for home, here's an, there's another one. This is a, I'll put a link to this as well. This is just a little pyramid 5-amp uh, um, home uh, power supply, and this thing is under $40. I'll, I think I'll find a link to that and put it in there as well. That's kind of to get you started power-wise. I just wanted to show you that as well and uh, not go kind of overboard on it at all, but um, we're going to take my G90 that's um, it's been through a lot. <laughs> this thing really has... Um, the knobs are, are an add-on, kind of a custom add-on for me. I, I got them off an RS918 radio that I have. Um, I've been looking for them. People have been asking me about them. I can't find a vendor for them. If you know of one, put that in the comments, and uh, maybe I'll, I'll bring it up to the top and pin it. But um, this is it. Uh, I took my side flaps off. This thing's been across two oceans uh, all over Europe with me. It's been to Hawaii. I, I've had a lot of travel with it. It's a tank. Um, you'll see when we get up close, you'll probably still see sand. I got blown sand in the uh, face of it or whatever. But I want to go through the features. And then if you've never made a contact, your our QSO, a QSO, if you've never done that, what we'll do here towards the end is um, we'll, we'll use the uh, SDR screen, watch the waterfall, find somebody, and try to make contact with them. And I'll show you what I do here at home. Now, I'm going to be using my home uh, antenna. It's not much. It's a very compromised antenna. It is the uh, Euro Sigmacom HF360. So you'll get to also see me use, I'll, I'll show you how to use the internal tuner. That's another question I get a lot. How do I make that thing tune? So I'll show you that as well. What we're going to do is just go through everything, getting up, getting running for voice SSB and using the Zygu G90. Stick around. Okay, just a quick, simple uh, rundown here through the radio. Uh, power button, that's going to be really self-explanatory. Cut it on, it boots up. Volume, it's another one that's self-explanatory. Another thing with the volume button is uh, that is controlling the volume to the uh, speaker of the radio. If you click it one time, in, now it's in headphone mode. If you see the headphones there, the headphone signal there. Um, so if you're, you can put headphones on, jack them into the radio using headphones. Click it again, you're back into the radio's uh, speaker. Uh, BFO dial is pretty self-explanatory too. Um, as you can see, you can also click this thing and move around the uh, at what level, you know, what step you want to, you know, tune with. So that that's that's that. Um, another thing with steps, the bottom one here, you can click that as well. And uh, I'm sorry, don't click it. You can use it to at the uh, step there. See the three, two, that way. Now, if you do click it, you're going to adjust your your bandwidth. As you see the over here, the B24. I keep my uh, mind set at B2400 and uh, C1400 for bandwidth on that. I think that's how it comes from uh, Zygu. Um, I wouldn't play with that, but if you take a look at yours and, and, and do that, you can, you, like you say, you can adjust it, you can just center it, or what have you, um, with that. But those are the settings I use. I know someone's going to say, no, I'll use these. 
that's up to you. That's what I use, and you can see that I make some pretty decent contacts uh, with this. Uh, with that, um, so those are the uh, the three big orange <laughs> knobs, as we could call them. For the mode is pretty explanatory too. We're an upper side band, lower side band, AM, uh, FM, uh, reverse CW, CW. So back there, um, bands. This radio operates from um, uh, 160 meters, 80 meters. Uh, 60 meters, 40, 30, 20, 17, 15, 12, and 10 meters. Uh, so it's pretty, uh, no six meters on this radio. Some of the others I do radios are six meter radios. This one does not have it. This is just uh, 160 through 10. So the pure HF radio uh, there for sure. Uh, some of the other things here, uh, power, you see the power button right here. Uh, that, that You can adjust power from 20 watts all the way down to one watt. So there, there's the uh, power uh, there uh, another thing uh, that's your SWR threshold I'd leave that alone um, if you hit function and you hit power there's your mic gain I keep my mic game at 10 uh, it's good setting I get like I said I get great audio reports with mine so if you're looking for what do I set my mic gain at I've found that 10 is a, is a great uh, point for the mic gain um, here we go we're on um, People, another one that people ask me about is uh, checking SWR and using the tuner. Um, if you see the power button again, so what I'm doing here is um, there's nobody. Make sure you don't want to do this over top of someone. Um, so hold it in, and it'll do an SWR sweep, a scan across the band there. So as you can see, my antenna is not that great for 15 meters, like two over, well over two to one uh, is the ratio there. So come back down here and hit quit. And you're and you're out of that. Um, so to use the tuner and to tune this thing, as you see, tune up here. A lot of it's, I hit the tune button and nothing happened. You got to hold it down for a, a second or two, and you can see it tuning. Now, if we check SWR, hold that down again. You can see my SWR is, is flatline. Uh, I got a little bit of a bleep there, but uh, from where I'm at in the band. Um, it is it is tuned. Uh, it's kind of a narrow spot there. But anyway, let's go back here and say quit. Um, turn the function key off. Another thing with function, if you want to work split, um, hit the function key. You see where it says uh, SPL down here. Um, you can do that. Let's let's change bands here. I can't do it until I'm back out of this. Uh, come back out. Split. Uh, let's go to uh, 20 meters and perfect too. So if I was working at D-Expedition and I'm hearing them on 292 and they're saying five up, five up would be 297. Hit function, hit split, and you'll see that little arrow right there. That lets you know that you're hearing, you're listening on 292, you're transmitting on 297. Now, what happens if you undo the function? You're still in split mode. Hit function and hit split again until that goes away. Now you're out of split mode and back to regular, regular mode there. So that's another... Kind of a beginner one that you'll hear people say five up, five up, or whatever, working a, you know, working split. That's the way to work split on the G90. So that's pretty much it. That's the uh, simple part of it. That should be enough to get you on the bands and get going. I'm gonna let's move over to the 15 meter band. That's that time of day, and uh, let's uh, let's tune up. We're out, we're, we're out. That, that's another thing. Each band, you have to tune it for each band that cuts it off and on. One quick hit, you hold it down. And now we're tuned up on 15. Let's go do some hunting. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, there's a QSO going on here. Let's see what we got. Thank you very much for report and your 5-3 here in Sweden. 73, have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you for 5-3. Have a great day. Thank you very much for sure. Thank you for 73. I've been helping this day. Thank you very much. 73, this is Sierra Bay Touristic South, Aluki Station, outside Europe. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Yes, Kilo for Oscar. Golf, Oscar. All oh, Star Golf, yeah, thank you. Hey, thank you, Paul. Then nice to meet you again. Thank you for meeting me too again. You're 5-5. Five, 5-5 five. Five, five this time in Sweden, over. QSL, QSL, thank you for the 5-5. Five, five. You're 5-7. Five, Good audio here in Two Virginia. Great to make contact with you again. Yeah, great to come. Thank you. you see nice to have you in the other 
Vietnam here too. It's so nice to have you here. Take care, Walt. And have a great day. Bye bye. Thank you. 73. Bye bye. As you can see, it was peaking on the S meter there at about seven. So when you hear somebody say five seven, five nine, ah, as you can see, he's at at, at S seven. I probably could have given him a five nine. Sometimes I use it by ear because he sounds really great. He really does turn it down. But um, so if you're giving a signal report, you know that that's kind of five means very you know very very readable. And uh, as you get three and fours. Um, most of the time, especially starting out, you're going to get anywhere from a 5.1 to a 5.9 or 5.9 plus 10 or plus 20 if you're just an outstanding signal. But um, there you go. There's a quick 20-watt uh, QSO there, and that's how you do it. Sit there, wait for him to say QRZ, and uh, just give your call out. So if that's your first time uh, using your G90, don't be shy. Get out there and make that contact and, uh, and, and make it happen. This is a great radio for it. Well, there you go. I hope that helped and uh, helped you a little bit uh, getting up and running with your G90. Or if you're if you're a seasoned pro here in uh, in the ham radio world, uh, maybe you saw it like, hey, I wouldn't mind having one of those. And they're why not? They're very inexpensive. Great little radio. Um, one thing I will say the uh, the mic. I've got uh, three Zygu radios. They all use the same mic. The only button I've ever pushed in uh, almost four years is that one. <laughs> if you want to learn how to do all this. You're going to have to find another video on that one for sure. Anyway, like I said, I hope that helped you and, uh, and, and, and kind of brought you up to speed to get you going. Until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO. Hey, please tap the uh, like button and subscribe. Till next time, 73.